In all your years here, have you felt more bipartisan work than ever before? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's in the past you haven't gone and consulted with the minority party and talked to it. But this is Speaker Hackney's leadership. He's been inclusive. He's brought people in on both sides of the aisle and really both, uh, you know, differences of opinion on our own side of the aisle. He's tried to include everybody and done a wonderful job in doing it. And that's why you've seen less um, animosity and uh, that, that type of thing going on this session. I'm real proud of that. The Speaker, when he was appointed, laid out a, a number of rules that he thought um, would help facilitate the session. Some of the rules were in response to the former Speaker, um, Speaker Jim Black. Do you feel, Representative Falwell, that those rules have been upheld? I, I think those rules, uh, to a large degree, have been upheld. Uh, as conservatives and as Republicans, we offered our own set of rules uh, as we start out this session, and and obviously we did not get those rules passed. But uh, for the most part, the rules that were established uh, have been upheld. But it's important for your viewers to know that as conservatives and as Republicans, we have our jobs to do. And our jobs are to come out and talk about the priorities as we see state government and what the state government's priorities should be. And there's still a, a, a great part of our legislative agenda uh, that has not been heard this year or last year or maybe will not be heard next year that have to do with the prioritization of whether the state has a spending problem or a revenue problem. Uh, what we really do about education, how we're going to fund these incredible uh, transportation needs. And now as Representative Owens will uh, also add, uh, and he and I agree on this issue about the post health care retirement obligations of this state and even more importantly than that, uh, the condition of our health plan which is a huge part of our state budget. Let me ask you about some of those specific bills that are sitting in rules, uh, defense of marriage, uh, there's a, a number of bills that... This is introduced. That have, oh, in the past years it's been, yes it was introduced this week, but in past years it's also sat in rules. What about bringing some of those, uh, some of those bills and some we, of those ideas that... We passed that out of rules last year and sent it to Florida and the Speaker, I think, referred it to a different committee. So we did pass it out and very few bills have been set on. In years past, there's been hundreds and hundreds of bills that have been parked in rules and not heard. We've sent them to committees, several, uh, most of the bills, several referrals to a couple committees. So different people can have different opinions on them. So there's been less of that sitting on bills and not hearing them than has ever been done in the past. There are always a few issues that come up that are just uh, not acceptable for one reason or another. Maybe a deal's been made in previous sessions that have just been made and now you're trying to unravel something that you agreed to do. That Those are not necessarily good things to do. Let's talk about the pace of this session. Mm -hmm. Things are moving very quickly. With the budget out, uh, usually what I have heard is two weeks after the budget's out and here we are in the beginning of July. Have you felt the same fast pace and yes. why? Well, I think, you know, we need to get a budget out around the 1st of July, and everybody has worked very hard to do that, and uh, now we need to get out of here as soon as we can and and, and, and um, wind the session down, and hopefully that will be done within the next two weeks, and uh, we have a short session. I mean, it will be over, and the election coming up, and we'll be right back down here in January, and we'll be here a long time then. And, Short session is supposed to be a short session, and that's what we're trying to make it. Final words on the whole session and how you felt the flow and the rules being implemented and so forth. Well, the flow has been fast. Uh, there are uh, there continue to be issues that are important to the Republican and the conservative uh, calls, uh, ensuring people integrity of elections by having people show a photo ID before they're allowed to register and vote uh, simultaneously. Uh, the Jessica Lunsford Act, which seems to be making some progress today, and hopefully when you do this show next year, you'll be able to report next week that you'll be able to report that Je the Jessica Lunsford Act has passed both chambers and on its way to the governor. Uh, the unborn victims bill. Just in the last three weeks, there have been three more pregnant women murdered in North Carolina. Uh, 
and it's a tragedy that North Carolina stands out as one of the few states that doesn't have this. So we continue to work on these bills, uh, both from our standpoint and then also work on the other side with uh, issues like uh, getting the state health plan in better shape, uh, getting the sales tax refund back to the public school districts of North Carolina and many other issues like that. And we're here to do our job and we're doing it to the best of our ability. And uh, I may add that I think uh, a lot of us agree on those same issues, but you can't, when you take up thousands of bills in a session, you can't accomplish everything. Sometimes there's not enough money to do it. We certainly agree on the sales tax refund to the schools. Uh, several years back they had an option. They made a bad choice by not accepting that as one of their options, but it's something we need to do in a fair, fairness thing. But when we have enough money, we'll do it. But uh, overall, I think it's been a great session, and I think it's been uh, very congenial between both parties, and we work together, and that's the way it should be, and I hope we can continue to be that. I said that as a goal many years ago on the floor, that I hope we would come together like the County Commissioners Association did, and not be Democrats and not be Republicans, just back then be all county commissioners, and now just be all House members working together to make us a better state because at the end of the day uh, there are a lot of people in this building who are here to make a point uh, but at the end of the day we have the responsibility of making a difference for the people of North Carolina. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank Great you discussion. Very much.